This is how you're gonna make it up to him. Padre's lied to all of us. We can find out what else he's lied about. This week's episode of Fear the Walking Dead is titled Odessa, and with it, we finally get the return of Daniel. I say finally, as if we didn't technically only see him three episodes ago. This video is gonna be filled with spoilers, so if you haven't seen the episode yet, definitely go watch it and then come back and watch this. And also, you should consider subscribing because I love the Walking Dead universe. I talk about it all the time on this channel. I do spoiler discussions of every episode as it airs. I do trailer reactions to all the trailers that come out. Just consider subscribing if you wanna support a fellow fanatic of the Walking Dead Dead universe, but I also do TV show discussions, trailer reactions, movie discussions, and I talk about survival horror video games a lot. Anyway, let's talk about the episode. This isn't going to be a play-by-play. -play. I'm not going to talk about every single thing that happens. I'm just going to talk about the things that I like and the things that I dislike. And unfortunately, this episode, in my opinion, has the greatest amount of things that I dislike in this season so far, but it also has a lot of high points, and I'm going to talk about those high points first. First and foremost, I like the reunion of June and Madison. I like them talking about past things, but more importantly, I really really, really was looking forward to, and I really enjoyed the reunion between Daniel and Madison. Sure, I feel like he should have been a little more shocked, a little more surprised to see her. He's thought she's been dead for years, and the last time he saw her was a couple years before that, but still, I really enjoyed them talking about the past as well, and Daniel, I loved seeing him. He's leading an army of parents that are looking to get their children back from Padre. He seems to be fully mentally there, which I really appreciate. I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna say this is lazy writing, but if you remember, correctly in season six specifically June said that she thinks that everything that was going on with Daniel and his mental state was not neurological that it was psychological therefore it could be technically healed and treated once he overcomes whatever traumatic shit he's going through and I feel like at the end of season seven he kind of achieved getting through all that trauma and I'm sure he did between season seven and eight as well. Of course, it's not the best, most realistic writing ever, but I feel like there was enough answers for it to feel satisfying for me, at least personally. And I really like Daniel and where he is in the world right now. I like that he basically trained these parents to form an army to fight against Padre. It seems right on line with his character. In fact, it honestly kind of feels like the most OG Daniel character arc we've gotten ever since he returned in season five. And then also we finally got some answers about Padre, who they are, what exactly their motivations and their goals are. We learned that Padre's leaders are actually the two siblings, Shrike and her brother. We're led to believe that it's Shrike's father, but as we see these flashbacks progress, we find out that her father and her brother's father died and that the two siblings came together to lead Padre. We learn that their motivation is that they were so distraught and sad by their father's death that they wanted to save pretty much every other child from having to feel that pain eventually. They thought that no parent would ever be able to take care of their child properly and that every child, it was just a matter of time before they felt the loss that they felt. So they took the children to protect them while simultaneously trying to create and find a cure for zombie bites. And once they would find the cure, if they ever found the cure, they would eventually be able to reinstate the whole concept of family and connection without the fear of loss. I like this motivation for Padre and its two leaders on paper. So far, I don't really care about it on screen. I don't fully care about the two villains yet. I don't fully care about their motivations and why they're doing what they do. And again, on paper, I like the idea of the two siblings being the main villain more than the idea of their father being the villain. I liked their father in the few scenes that he was in. I just didn't want a generic older military male being the lead villain. That would have been kind of boring for me personally. Now I'm gonna get into some of the critiques I have with this season. The biggest critique is um, Odessa or as her bird name is, Dove, I believe. She's with June, she's with Madison, she meets Daniel in this rebellion of parents and she's all in, she's all for it. She sees Madison motivating them, she sees Daniel motivating them, she sees June motivating them. She's all in on this cause. She wanna know where she comes from and she doesn't like Padre or what they're doing. But then when she finds out that Madison motivated her mom to fight against Padre and then Padre killed her mom, she hates Madison all of a sudden and she's just completely does a 180 on her character arc. I just don't buy this. I don't believe it. I don't think it makes any sense personally that she would be mad at Madison when Padre is the one that killed her mother. And she's just mad at Madison that she gave her mom faith 
and finding her and fighting against Padre. It just seems so stupid and unrealistic. And also if you go back and watch that episode, Madison barely motivated her. It was mainly Morgan who was doing the motivating. And on top of that, neither of them needed to motivate Ava, her mother, to do what she did. She was already down with the cause. She would have done it regardless of even meeting them. But my biggest critique with this episode personally was actually the pacing. I really did not enjoy the pacing of this episode. I really enjoy Fear the Walking Dead and how it's had slower moments than The Walking Dead, the main show has, especially in recent seasons. And the more recent seasons of The Walking Dead, one of my biggest critiques was the pacing. Every scene had music over it. Every scene felt like it was ushering in the scene that would come after it. It felt like every episode was like a 45 minute long montage. You never had a moment to breathe. And I absolutely love the downtime in The Walking Dead universe. The moments that we do have to breathe. The moments where we feel like we're just living with these characters existing, where it doesn't feel like every scene is just there to preface the scene that comes after it. And unfortunately, this episode felt like the later seasons of The Walking Dead in terms of editing and pacing and the constant use of music, and I really did not enjoy it. This wasn't the case with episode one and two, so I'm not nervous that it's gonna be the case with the whole season. I just really hope that it's not going forward. Anyway, there's my quick and brief thoughts on Fear the Walking Dead season eight, episode three, titled Odessa. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. And once again, consider subscribing. I love The Walking Dead universe. I talk about it all the time, but I also do TV show discussions, trailer reactions, movie discussions, and I talk about survival horror videos. Games. Thank you for watching, especially if you watch this far. Who's the commander? No more hiding behind the mirror. Time to tell the truth.